Today we're going to subtract integers. Uh, if you have not viewed the video on adding integers, that would be a prerequisite of viewing this video because I'm going to talk about some um, some things that I discussed in adding because adding and subtracting they're related a little bit. So let's get started. First, I want to talk about what what is what does subtraction mean? Well, again, I'll bring up my tiles, my cubes. If I had eight cubes, in order to subtract something, you have to have something to start off with most of the time. And that's the way I'm going to look at this. Right now, I have eight cubes. If I want to subtract two cubes, I could subtract two cubes. If I wanted to subtract four cubes, I could subtract four cubes. I could take away four cubes. If I wanted to subtract eight cubes, I could subtract eight cubes. But what if I wanted to subtract nine cubes or 20 cubes. That's what we're going to be dealing with today. Okay? Our first problem is 5 minus 2. 5 minus 2 means you have 5, 5 positives, And you want to take away two positives. Well, do I have two positives to take away? Yes, I do. So I'm going to take, and take away two positives, leaving three positives. So 5 minus 2 equals 3. Let's say I'm taking a test and I don't have cubes or tiles to use. Well, I could say I have five positives. And I want to take away or subtract two positives. Well, that leaves me with three positives. Let's say I had negative four minus one. Well, I have four negatives. And I want, I'm sorry, minus one. Minus negative one. I have four negatives and I want to take away one negative. I have four negatives. Can I take away one negative? Yes, I can. That leaves me with three negatives. Again, on an assessment or some type of test, I have four negatives. And I want to take away one negative. That leaves me with three negatives. Okay, if you'll try this one. All right, I have six negatives, and I want to take away two negatives. Do I have two negatives to take away? Yes, I do. Well, what's left? One, two, three, four negatives. Here's another problem. If you'll please freeze the video and work this one, please. Okay, welcome back. You have six positives, and I want to subtract two negatives. Well, we have a problem here. We don't have two negatives to take away. We only have positives. So if you remember in the other video, 
we talked about something called a zero pair. We said that whenever you have one positive, one positive and one negative, and you put them together, they equal zero. So, what I want to do, I want to add a zero here. What will a zero look like if I add a zero using my plus, using my plus and minus signs? Well, I have six positives, and I'm going to add a zero. Because I know a positive and a negative, that equals zero, so this is really zero. I still have six here because I just added the zero. Now, can I subtract two negatives? No, I don't. I can only subtract one negative now. So what I need to do? I need to add another zero. In this problem, what I actually did, I added two zeros, and I have six positives. I still have a total of six here. It just looks different. Okay? So now that i work worked my problem, I have six minus negative two. Can I take away two negatives? Yes, I can. And that's going to leave one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So my answer is eight. Try another one. I have four positives. And I want to take away one negative. But I don't have one negative to take away. So I need to add a zero. I have four minus negative one. I just added the zero. I still have four here because I added the zero. The problem is four minus negative one. Can I take away a negative one now? Yes, I can. And I'm left with one, two, three, four, five. That's my answer. You try one on your own now. Negative eight minus negative three. I have eight negatives, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight negatives, and I want to subtract three negatives. Can I subtract three negatives? Yes. What is my final answer? One, two, three, four, five. Well, five what? Five negatives. Here's another problem. I'm going to change this to a four. So I have four negatives, and I want to subtract four positives. Can I subtract four positives? No, I can't, so I need to add a zero. Can I subtract four positives now? No, so I'm going to add a zero. Can I subtract four positives now? No, so I'm going to add a zero. What about now? No, I need to add another zero. Well, now, my problem is negative 4 minus 4. I still have negative 4 here because I just added zeros. So now I can subtract 4 positives. What's left? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Well, 8 what? 8 negatives. You try this one. You can pause the video. Okay. I have 10 positives and I want to take away 4 negatives. So I have 10 positives. Ten positives, and I want to take away four negatives. I can't take away four negatives because I don't have four negatives to take away. I only have positives here. So I'm going to add a zero. 
and another one, and another one, and another one until I have created four negatives on my board. Now that I have four negatives here, I, I can take them away. Now, do I still have ten on my board? Yes, I do, because I just added four zeros. So now I'm going to subtract four negatives. Well, what's my answer? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. My answer is 14. Now the last one, if you'll please work this one. Please pause the video. Okay. I have seven negatives, and I want to take away five positives. I can't take away five positive positives because I don't have five positives here. I only have negatives on my board. So I'm going to add, how many zeros do you think I need to add in order for me to be able to take away five positives? I'll have to add five. So I'm going to add, there's one, there's two. That's three, that's four, that's five. My problem is negative seven minus five. I still have negative seven on my board. I just added five zeros, which is nothing. So can I subtract five positives now? Can I subtract five? Yes, I can. That leaves me with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve what? Well, 12 negatives. I hope this video helped you with the meaning of subtraction. Um, I think I'm going to do a video using a shortcut and using the um, the algebraic way of solving, of subtracting integers. Uh, but before you watch that video, uh, if you'll please watch the adding integers and make sure you have adding integers down, um, I would appreciate it. And I'll see you next time. Have a great day.